While my friends were going to dorm parties and football games, I was commuting to class and studying in a Starbucks. But I would do it all over again, and here's why. Hi, my name is Arda. I'm a junior transfer at the University of California, Berkeley, studying computer science. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing a four-year university with community college, and I'm going to be talking about pros and cons of attending to a community college. A little backstory about me. I went to community college for two years right after high school. Uh, after high school, I got rejected from all DCs that I applied to. And after going to community college for two years, I was able to get into every UC for computer science program and I chose UC Berkeley. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing what I know with you all. I'm going to start with uh, cons of going to community college. And the first one is in community college, no one is pushing you to do something. It's all up to you. If you're out of high school, you probably used to have like a counselor, like family pressure to do well. If you're coming to a community college as an adult and if you were working somewhere else, maybe you had a supervisor that would push you to do things. But in community college, no one cares about like how you do or what you do. It's all up to you if you want to get good grades in your classes, if you want to get the right classes so you can transfer, or if you want to transfer in two years versus three years, it's all up to you. The counselors are just going to be there to be like, eh, you know, maybe this, maybe this, this might be easier. But at the end of the day, it's all up to you. And this requires a lot of self-discipline and self-motivation. Because coming to my second point, if you're coming out of high school, you're going to be seeing a lot of your friends going to four-year universities and just partying and just having fun because they don't really care about it. Like most of them don't really care about their grades that much, as much as you do, at least. Because as a, as a community college student, if you want to go to, a, if you want to transfer to a reputable four-year university, you need to have good grades. You have to have good grades. And so you have that constant pressure of keeping your grades up, just like in high school, like before applying to college, how you would try to get your grades up so you would have a competitive you know, advantage. It's just like that, you have to get your grades up and then you'll be seeing uh, your friends you know, going to four years and just partying and just like doing everything except studying. So that, that's gonna be hard on you, which requires a lot of self-discipline and self-motivation in order to you know, lock in and just focus on your studies. Also connected to my last point, most STEM majors have really heavy workload in community college. If you wanna transfer in a shorter period of amount of time, the first uh, counselor I met at community college said it was impossible for me to transfer in three years. I knew it was uh, possible, so I just talked with them, someone else and, and I did transfer in two years, but it was just a lot of uh, summer classes, like full of units of summer classes, eight units, and 20, 21 units of each semester during the school year. So it's a lot of work taking a bunch of classes. And one advice I would give is to uh, take uh, non-STEM courses or like courses that doesn't matter that much, take, it, take them online so you can save uh, that commute time to study. Another con of uh, community college is it can feel isolating at times. It's harder to make friends because there's, you know, no dorms, like, and most people just come to community college, go to their classes, and then just go back to their home. So it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to, you know, build your community or network with people. So I would say join to different clubs, different organizations, as whatever your community college has to offer, especially in student government, I've, I've done all these. And whatever your community college has to offer, try to make most of that experience as you'll be reflecting on these experiences in your university applications too. So it's really important for you to, you know, diverse yourself from academics to, you know, other other areas in, within the community college as like extracurricular things. Another kind of community college is you will have less access to research initiatives or career fairs. It's basically harder to build network because most companies are recruiting from four year universities. Now it's not impossible. I got a I got an internship at a research facility uh, while I was going to uh, community college as a sophomore, like during my second year, I got an internship at a research facility and I've, I've stayed there for nine months. So, and it helped me a lot with my university applications as well. And it gave me, uh, it, it shines on my resume. So it is possible, but it's just harder. But when I say harder, don't get demotivated and don't just be like, oh, it's hard, I can't do it. This should push you more into, you know, aggressively searching for it, more, you know, reaching out to people, getting out of your comfort zone, because if you're just waiting for, you know, internship offers to fall in your lap, it's not going to happen. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be attacked. You have to, if there's internet, just message people online um, or talk with your professors. One of my roommates got his internship through a professor at uh, community college. Um, so just put yourself out there and it's definitely possible. The last two, I didn't care as much. One of them is being... Uh, the stigma and judgment from others when you say you go to community college. Let's be honest, most people will look down on you, you know, because you're going to community college. They can be adults or they can be like your peers. They will just look down on you. But I didn't really care because I knew that I was capable of getting into four-year universities and I had the goals in mind. So 
they, they weren't distractions to me. They were just, you know, uh, buzz noises uh, that I didn't care as much. But uh, you should also get into that kind of mentality where you don't care about what others think. You just care about, you know, how you can prove yourself to yourself. Um, and the last one being lack of school spirit because, you know, it's, it's, it's not for your college. The, the school spirit is not as much as a, as a university. You know, there are no big football games, drum traditions or like college town vibes. Uh, but I was focused on my academics, so I didn't really care about, you know, the culture. I know I listed a lot of different kinds of going to community college, but trust me, once I start talking about the pros, they will, uh, they will weigh more than the cons. And, and that's why most people choose to go to community college. And that's why I chose to go to community college. And the, and the first reason being is it saves you a ton of money for two years. You're basically paying like a little amount to no amount of money to a community college. If you were to take debt for like some private university or stuff for other uh, for your university, less student debt means more freedom after you graduate, the more risk you can take, the more freedom you have, the more things you, that you can do. So these two years saving a lot of money, what I did was with that same money, I started taking classes to become a private pilot, you know, and it's some, something really gone cool, a student pilot. I have 80 hours of flight time, you know, I've, I've flown solo, and that was something really cool uh, that I did with the same money. And the second, and in my opinion, biggest pro is the chance to, a second chance to uh, transfer to your dream school. Especially if your dream school is UC, the chances are even higher. Obviously, it depends on major. If it's computer science, you know, the data is out there, you can go look it up for transfer rates. It's not like they're accepting everyone. Uh, but if you're like humanities, but if you if you're in TAP, you can look it up what TAP is. Uh, basically they they can guarantee you um, guaranteed admission for some majors. That most STEM majors, especially computer science, is not included and not all schools offer it. You just have a second chance of you know getting into a dream school, which which I did. Even for out-of-state schools, I know a lot of people that transfer to out-of-state schools from community college in California, for example. I was in California. So these two pros are the heaviest pros for me that really made my uh, helped me make my decision for going to community college, saving a lot of money and having a second chance to go to my dream school. Because I was just, I wasn't just gonna be satisfied with the state schools or non-competitive schools, let's say. Um, and I, I really wanted to put myself out there. Another pro of going to community college is flexible schedules. Uh, if you're working part-time, most of my friends were working part-time while going to community college. You know, I was working part-time at a cancer research facility. I was getting my pilot license. I was hanging out a lot, going to places, going to different concerts. There's definitely a lot of uh, uh, time flexibility, schedule flexibility on what you can do as you choose your own classes. And if you had to like take care of your family or balance other responsibilities, you know, community college will help you with that because uh, there are more options, especially uh, if, if, especially because you can also take classes from different community colleges. If your community college doesn't offer like a class that doesn't like doesn't offer a class or a class that doesn't work with your schedule, etc., you can take uh, classes from multiple community colleges. But make sure to make sure that you have a good explanation on why, because universities want an explanation usually on you know why you've been taking classes from different community colleges. But it's not like a red flag, it's, but you have to make sure you just. Make sure that you have a solid life. Another pro of community, going to community college is figuring out your path. Maybe for me, it was always computer science since I was going to middle school. So I'm like, um, it didn't really apply to me. But for other people, maybe you wanted to do mechanical engineer and then you realized you were really into computers and coding in your first years of college and you wanted to switch your major. Well, if you're in community college, it's a lot more easier to you know mess around, experiment around, see what you like, see what you don't like compared to a four year once you already got into a major. It's just harder to do things in a four year compared to community college. It's a great opportunity to, you know, explore yourself and see what you want to do for the rest of your life. Another pro is smaller smaller class sizes where you can really connect with your professors. At Cal, you know, the, the smallest class I have is like 100 people, but most of my classes are a few hundred people, if not thousands. Um, so it's really hard to connect with your professors. You usually connect with your, you know, TAs. Uh, but at community college, you are able to, you, it's so much more easier to connect with your professors because it's because of the class sizes and I made great connections in community college with my professors and where I still get a few letter of recommendations from them where I don't have a professor in uh, Berkeley right now where I can ask for a letter of recommendation as of now uh, but they'll change in the future. Professors are more accessible, you can get one-on-one -on -one help, it's easy to get tutoring because if your community college offers it. And the last pro or maybe con uh, for you is being closer to home. 
uh, for me it was pro, um, as you know, I was still with my family. It, it just makes things easier, like financially and emotionally. If you're a high school con uh, student considering community college, uh, community college will give you a second chance if you've done bad in your high school. Or if you've done really good in your high school, but you did, still didn't get into your dream schools, which the, which is the case with my roommates. He had like a four point something GPA with all the extracurriculars, like two YC sports and all those things, but he still get it, didn't get into the UCs that he wanted. Um, community college will give you a second chance to prove yourself. If someone told me that out of high school, there's a chance that I might get into my dream school again, with, while saving a lot of money, I'll be like, damn, like, what is this? And it is, it is community colleges. Community college is not an easy path, but it can change your life if you treat it like a lounge pad. If you're thinking about this path, I'm rooting for you. You got this. Comment down below any questions that you, you have about community college. Reach out to me on LinkedIn. Like this video if you find it helpful. Thank you for listening and see you next time.